Um, who would like to talk a little bit about where, why their character might find themselves in a position to go adventuring as we get started? <laughs> I think Tusk is always looking for uh, some sort of adventure to go and make more money to send back to, uh, we'll just call her Karen. <laughs> and, uh, to go and help her with uh, her disability and whatnot. So he probably hangs out at most of the ends and he may have traveled with uh, any of these guys on any missions they could have been on. He is usually for hire, which usually just means a cut of some sort of uh, whatever gold is made. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, again, you know, I already kind of went over, um, you know, the, the concept for Marty. He is out on an adventure. He is looking to do and take on more and more difficult and crazy tasks so that he can build up his his resume of adventuring so that he can earn that that paycheck in the end. Um, but me and um, uh, Chris were actually talking during our um, our testing when we were going through and trying to figure out the best way to set up the stream and everything about uh, our characters already being intertwined because his character is an inventor and maybe his character uh, is working for the Crimson Minotaur uh, Energy Drinks Potion Company on crazy things. Um, and that's maybe how we have hooked up. I don't know if that's something you were still maybe leaning towards, Chris, or if it's if you were maybe in a different mindset. I still want to have him kind of be part of like the you know the whole research thing, magical research for you know weapons and armor and spells and contraptions. But I think he can moonlight uh, for other companies for things like maybe it didn't work out for you. Uh, yeah, he like works for the local government, but uh, they didn't like that idea. So I'm going to go sell to somebody else, and maybe you're the face man for these other companies. You know, stuff or, like that. Or maybe the, or you're the face man for stuff like this. Didn't, we can, we're not going to use this. It didn't work out, but we're, we're we can release this to the public. And uh, you're the face man for that, you know. Maybe, or maybe, like I said, uh, you know, since energy energy drink potions might be highly regulated, maybe in the kingdom that you're from, uh, it's the government that is actually putting these things out, and maybe you're in charge of that kind of thing or a part of that department, uh, and that's maybe how we met. Well, it could even be part of the thing where uh, maybe when we originally released it, it was really bad and it was killing people, and we we're kind of like trying to recoup, you know, trying to make it uh make us look good again by having somebody that's a little bit well known kind of like oh this stuff's great this crimson minotaur oh, absolutely awesome. absolutely i mean Mar Mar marty marty can't die he's 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 too busy to die when it comes down right. to just drinking an energy drink so. i'm too busy to die it used to be called the poison bovine and that didn't go so well <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, yeah, that's definitely um, a route there. I don't know, Kiki, what were you thinking as far as how you might want to tie in? Okay, well, first of all, I think that's really cool. Second of all, too busy to die needs to be a, a motto somewhere. It does. Um, it does. It doesn't give you wings, but when you're too busy to die. <laughs> too busy to die. Um, you're too busy to die. Have, have, have a crimson minotaur. Have a crimson minotaur. Um, so I know we had um, briefly touched on beforehand also about um, with Chris's character, if he's working with that sort of group, um, that Alistair would also be involved, like I said, with like um, a militia, like knights or soldiers or some something of that nature. So surely they would have had some kind of interaction at that point. Um, I'm sure she would have either had questions or had to go to him for something. Um, and you know, there's only so much soldiering you can do before you get bored. Maybe I mean, maybe they were planning on uh, giving this energy drinks potion to the military, uh, uh, Chris, yeah. and that's uh, it's super testing. soldier serum kind of it's, thing. It's, you know? it's testing right now, and I'm trying to get people hyped for it. Uh, but yeah, we just met a little uh, or learned a little how Jason's and Chris's characters might have gotten together. How could that link or maybe just have some kind of crossover with how uh kiki or randy with how your character might have come to the same place where they would be seeking to uh market their beverage i think kiki's is easy like you said like she's either the knight of the knight of the empire and like hey we want to test stuff out and you're yeah. you're, one the, you're one of the elite guardsmen so uh you're gonna you're gonna do what you're told, right? You're gonna you're gonna take this. Right, uh, so she could basically just be part of. You're gonna take this stuff. crimson. Uh, you're gonna take this stuff, mm -hmm. this crimson minotaur, and see see how it reacts. You know, right? We're gonna do some testing on the. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, maybe, maybe that's what it is. Maybe maybe, maybe we're, we're going out trying to find mercenaries to test this on as well. That was part of. Maybe, we don't, my, I don't know that obviously as far as mm -hmm. that's going here, but we were going around trying to find some people, test it out on them as well, see how it goes. Actually, you know, we're putting in the drinking water of the city, but exactly <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Everybody's gonna you didn't end hear up that for me. You, you not hear that? Yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah, he would. Marty was not uh, a tiefling. Tiefling before uh, he drank this. Stuff. Nice, <laughs> nice. 
<laughs> well, you guys obviously have to do a lot of traveling uh, to go and uh, to sell your guys' ware, so you guys possibly could have hired uh, Tusk multiple times to go and escort you guys from uh, different towns when he was available. No, because yeah. if he had guarded them, somebody would have died. <laughs> that's true that's true oh, man. that, that was soon? one specific mission it was, it was at one time well they, they used to have a third partner okay so I'm sorry <laughs> one time and uh, let me live it down so what do you guys think about that as starting where would that where would that happen what kind of town city setting I mean what would that look like because I mean, it's I imagine be something that supports what we're talking about. Yeah, I imagine that maybe we're, we're we're making our way into a smaller town to again maybe do some uh, some promotion, do some testing, and again dealing with some of the smaller towns. You find that they more and more inclined to believe the big city folk when they come down with some uh, promise, something something new and fantastical that will fix their lives and all these things here. And then who knows what kind of adventures we can get into uh, once we actually get into the town. But maybe that's part of the directive. We're, we're on a little bit of a PR campaign. What could even be where we're, you know, we, we could sell this to other military groups that, you yeah, know, could do that, that are allies of us, you know, or even like mercenary groups, right? Or bandit group, you know, any, anybody that's up for this kind of thing. I think snake oil sells better in the smaller towns. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Indeed. But I mean, and it might make it might make sense as far as you know where we're, we're we've been traveling that kind of circuit. Maybe that's how we found Kiki and Randy since they came from uh, at least you know smaller type of towns and things like that. Nice. We had to replace a couple of our other interns that we lost along the way. That was part of the first batch. We don't talk about it. Yeah, well, <laughs> we don't even talk about it. This Why do you guys have four bedrolls? We don't know. We just like having you know the extra comfort. That's just have what spare. it is. No, it's gonna have a spare. It's gonna have a spare. Decoy yeah. bed rolls. <laughs> well, the half work uses two already, so I mean, <laughs> there you go. Let's um. So let's think about uh, where we would want to start, so that we can um, bring our characters together and let them meet each other. Now, it sounds like you already know each other a little bit. So mm -hmm. what I'm thinking of is a, a first interaction. Um, we're gonna pick ourselves a a town. Um, let me go ahead and come up with. I've already created some some Ooh. towns and, and areas that we can work with. 